Hey everyone, welcome back to another weekly reaction video to Unordinary. This week, I actually need to pull up Webtoons. This week is episode 124. Last week we left off with Jean kind of telling Arlo, find Serafina. And Arlo kind of be like, find her yourself. And then John kind of went on a manhunt. Meanwhile, uh, Arlo got into contact with Ventus and Maylee. Uh, and uh, Elaine called Ison. I believe it was Ison for help. Anyway, um, something I want to point out in this episode. Or I think last week I said that the girl who was attacking Serafina, the first one, the one with, like, the reddish hair, I said she had speed. No, she had strength. Her other friend, the one with the blonde hair, had speed, if I'm right. Just wanted to clear that up. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So, an ordinary episode 124. Almost a halfway, almost a quarter of the way there to the next hundred. Anyway, at Wellston Academy. And it's Arlo, Elaine... Maylee and Ventus. Arlo, you called for us? Serafina has been missing since yesterday. We need to find her. Ison is already scouting for information on her information on her whereabouts. Our job is to back him up. Ventus, Maylee, you two search Wallach in Wesley Hall. Elaine, you cover Manor Hall. Uh, okay. Ask around if you have to, but be discreet about it. We don't want to attract too much attention and risk alerting the culprit. Keep in contact so you don't accidentally step on each other. I want an update every half hour. Yes, Arlo. Unordinary episode 124. And at the end, Ventus and Maylee just kind of like bow to him and Elaine kind of like... She does some kind of gesture with her arm, like, is she bowing too? I don't know, it's weird. I thought she was, like, following him. Anyway. And then, where the last chapter left off with John just running down the halls. Go on. Show me just how much more capable you are. Find her yourself. Arlo, you piece of shit. I already kicked your ass. You should be listening to everything I say infirmary and then he slams the door open and then it's doc we haven't seen doc in a while actually you want to break or something you break something again doc has sarah been here at all today nope i haven't seen her what <sighs> slams the door and heads back out what the fuck and then he's just kind of like nonchalant about everything and john's just running and running and then, school cafeteria, not here. The library, not here. Not here either. How the hell am I supposed to find her like this? And then, at upstairs, not on the roof. And, yeah. And then he's just on school building, just looking down. And then, someone's... Oh! This is the kid who told him to get lost. This is, like, told the kid who told him to for him and Serafina to leave when he was practicing. You again. I told you to stay away from here. This isn't a place for weaklings like you to just hang out. Get out of here, now. No. I'm not going anywhere until I find what I need. And then... Oh, shit. There's an explosion. And then John's back in doors. Lands on the floor. Who's this kid? The hell is your problem? I need the view from up here. I don't care. Last thing any high ranker would want to see is your stupid face up. Last thing any high ranker would want to see up here is your stupid face. Now leave before I get serious. <laughs> and then. It's Elaine talking to people, and there's... Oh, a school bell. Then Maylene, she's looking around, texting. Ventus, looking around. 
than Isen using his ability to look at people in the classrooms and it's Arlo on his phone and then it's group text to Isen, Elaine, Melly, and Ventus updates Wallach Hall is clear Wesley Hall clear haven't found anyone with news of her nothing yet still nothing could she be off school ground and then it's John just running around again and some dude with green hair maybe we've seen him before and John's running and he trips <coughs> falls on the ground it isn't safe to run to run in the hallways especially not for you John kick it kick it no trip and hurt yourself what the hell was that for oh I was just helping you slow down obviously you're well boom punches her square in the face I don't think we've seen this girl before we've probably seen a lot of these people but I just can't remember but it's like a girl with like purple hair John Dexter straight in the face what and then her blonde friend and he grabs her stupid bitch touch me again and I'll fucking kill you hey let go how dare you and then he looks at her and he grabs her by the arm and he decks her fuck you and then was I talking to you and then everyone's just caught off guard the fuck are you all looking at keep staring and I'll beat your ass <laughs> and these girls are just freaked out hey John chill out and then someone slams him into the it's the guy with the green hair <laughs> come on bro it was just a prank bro and then punches him in the stomach no need to take it ser so seriously prank I was in the middle of something you shit <laughs> and what could possibly be so important if you're out here picking fights with everyone I'm looking for Sarah Serafina isn't she abilityless now why are you still hanging out with her there are plenty of other strong students to leech off of as a matter of fact I'll let you be my lap dog and then he just like pushes the guy off of him and then John grabs his head and s straight up knees him I love seeing John like this but at the same time I'm kinda don't like seeing him like this Gah! Go to hell, useless trash! And then John's going for like the backswing. Yeah, I dodges clearly. <laughs> Damn cripple, you're pissing me off. Don't act so cocky just because you can fight. And then he goes, the guy, other guy goes for a punch, gets John strained the jaw. Why? And then he's just sitting in the hallway. They keep getting in my way! Why couldn't they just leave me alone just this once? And he probably broke something again. Why am I putting up with all this again? No one ever listens. No one ever cares. In the end, and then he's just getting back up. Power is the only thing that matters. Son of a bitch. John's eyes are glowing and he's out in school halls. And this might be the return of the king. I'm both excited and scared. And that is Unordinary Episode 124. And... We don't get to see what the new abilities are. If we don't see what the green hair guy is, his ability was. But oh man, this is not gonna end well for anyone. But is John going to come out once and for all? I mean, it really is has been a matter of time up until now. Like, 
a lot of people at Wilson know that shouldn't. Uh, like John told Arlo, if anyone found out, he would dethrone him. Um, Ison knows because Arlo had him stalk John, and then Cecile knows, and then actually, I think of like the main cast, so to speak, Remy and Blake. Oh, and Sarah, of course. Actually, I didn't completely forgot about her. But um, I think Remy and Blake are the only other two that like have had interactions with John that don't know about his about his ability. But this was really intense. This was a really intense chapter. It was cool to see like everyone kind of like looking for Sarah, and it was really cool to see John fight again. But um, yeah. That was intense. It's gonna get intense. And also, he still has that mask, though, that he bought. So, will it be jo Like, will John show his ability, or is he gonna put on the mask and just go on a rampage? And if he does do that, he risks the chance of Arlo, like, finding out about what he's been doing, if Arlo doesn't already know. Because I don't think... I don't think Arlo or anyone else has put together... Well, maybe Ison did, but that it was John who... Uh, wailed on Zeke and Junie. Anyway, that'll be it for this week's video. So, see you guys next week for another reaction to Unordinary. Uh, that'll be it for this week. I'll see you guys next time for My Hero Academia, if it updates uh, this week. Anyway, rambling, as always. See you guys then.